Welcome to the presentation on configuring Netgear ReadyNAS Storage, ReadyNAS Replicate, and Acronis Backup and Recovery 10. Netgear ReadyNAS Storage ranges from 1 terabyte to 24 terabytes, making it ideal for backup to disk solutions. Using Acronis, Netgear ReadyNAS Storage can be configured as a backup vault. Once we have a backup vault, it's important to be able to off-site those backups. ReadyNAS Replicate provides the ability to easily replicate data from one ReadyNAS to another, making it ideal to assist in the off-site of Acronis backups. This presentation will guide you through the steps required to configure this. The first step is to configure the ReadyNAS that will be used to hold remote backup. We log on to the ReadyNAS, we go to the Shares option, and we click Add Shares. To create a share, enter a name for the share. In this case we've chosen the name Acronis underscore Offsite. It's also important to put a description for what will be in the share. Finally, untick Public Access and then click Apply. This will create the share. Now that the destination location has been created, we log on to replicate.readynas.com to manage our ReadyNAS devices. I've already registered both my source ReadyNAS and my remote ReadyNAS within Replicate. So all I need to do now is create the backup job to replicate data from one ReadyNAS to another. Click on the backup data link. This will start the backup wizard. Enter a meaningful name for the backup job. As we are using this backup, to replicate existing Acronis backups from one ReadyNAS to another, I've named the job Replicate Acronis Data Offsite. Then we select the source ReadyNAS. We then need to select the folder within the ReadyNAS that currently is acting as an Acronis backup vault. We then select the destination ReadyNAS that we would like to replicate these backups to. As you can see, the share we created earlier on the ReadyNAS is available through this view. We select the Acronis underscore offsite folder and click Next. We then select a schedule for the backup to occur. In this case, we're going to choose daily and at 2 a.m. because at this time we know our Acronis backups are well and truly finished. We then set the limit retention option to 1 as this means we will only keep one copy of the Acronis data. Acronis contains many copies of our primary data so we only need to keep one copy. If we click on the jobs tab you will see the job we have created now appears in the list. If we click on the monitor tab it gives us the view to see any jobs that are actively running. We can also initiate jobs manually from this view. So click play and we can start the replication of our Acronis vault from one ReadyNAS to another. ReadyNAS Replicate will then make sure that the source ReadyNAS and the destination ReadyNAS can see each other. It will snapshot the data at the source ReadyNAS and replicate data from the source ReadyNAS to the destination ReadyNAS. ReadyNAS Replicate uses incremental transfers. This means it minimizes the amount of data that needs to be moved from one ReadyNAS to another, making it ideal for transferring Acronis backup vaults. To see the success of your replication jobs, click on the Reports link. This will show you all the historic replications that have taken place, and it will even show you the amount of data that needs to be transferred each time a job runs. This concludes the presentation on configuring Netgear ReadyNAS Storage, ReadyNAS Replicate, and Acronis Backup and Recovery 10. For more solutions, visit www.netgear.com.